And welcome back, folks, and we are back to Dino Crisis, and we are making ourselves another poison dart so that we can, uh, you know, have a good time uh, poisoning some dinosaurs. You know, some, some local wildlife, because, you know, it's all military and facilities and stuff, and we must conquer because we are humans, and humans must, you know, be parasitic upon the, upon the land. Also, Chris is a serial killer who uses poison. It's true. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to let the scene play out, but I'm going to talk about how this is hilarious. fuck is that thing? That is Therizinosaurus, which, when this game was made, there was very little known about it, except for the fact that it had a claw about a foot and a half in length. And nobody really knew Whoa. anything Whoa. about the dinosaur. Well, you don't got mold. Yeah, yeah. Re Regina's now dead. <laughs> uh, oh. whoa. Now whoa. she's dead. <laughs> So yeah, there was so little known about Therizinosaurus wow. that um, they oh. saw the claw and thought, it, it's a predator, it has to be, with something like that. About two years after this game was made, they found an almost intact Therizinosaurus skeleton. Not only was it much larger than it's presented here, it was also a herbivore. <laughs> so really it's just it specifically just doesn't like Regina yeah this is a uh, creative licensed dinosaur it is it's, it is uh, fuck this one in particular it's a Thorazine <laughs> oh god okay um, so we should probably just go ahead and find some other topic to talk about because this this going to take a while um oh man right. well uh, ever... good timing because i'm gonna go get my food <laughs> <laughs> all right well i'm gonna keep talking about therizine source <laughs> go for it do it so basically if you actually look up these dinosaurs they don't even have the same general body shape oh my god okay it's, I'm... it's like it's <laughs> I'm 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 gonna look this up now then. While that takes not up. even close. Holy shit! Oh my god! What? Look it up. We'll have the name of the dinosaur in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, future me, you're gonna put up a picture of this this thing. Oh my god! I do like the the uh, Freddy Cougar claws though. That's pretty cute. Let's see. Right. Uh. Okay, that's right. Hook. Uh, down, left, release. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, God. It's one big chicken. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this is. Yeah, if I would definitely change... If, if, if remaking this game, I would definitely change these puzzles. It's actually, you know, because there is that fan-made Dino Crisis uh, remake, and which we all know is going to get, you know, DMCA'd eventually. Um, but uh, the the thing I do wonder about with that is is just how they're going to handle uh, some of those uh, some of those situations like this, you know, because they've they've got uh, clearly they have a lot of design work on the. The environments and whatnot, but this is where the actual like game design meet happens. That it's good. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of planning. I'll try to do a, a move two for move uh, like two move ones and uh, a move three. Got any hooks? Oh, I know. Sorry, I I didn't get any any of those in the booster pack. Aww. I got a Batman Returns card. 
I'll trade you four lefts for it. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the trading card sketch. Oh, I love this little description here. It's an armored truck that contains machine guns, possibly a pre-production sample. And I'm just imagining it's like, yeah, we're just going to deliver this to you. It's a sample. Just, uh, you know, just a freebie. Just, you know, it's on us. Sample. I like how it's just kind of like a ripoff of the APC from Aliens. Mm -hmm. And the mm. uh, crash truck kind of looks like another reference to Aliens where they crash through the barrier. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. And nukes the site from, the, from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we are doing good type for type ammo and stuff. Yeah. Type of type of. Type of type of type of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, it turns out that actually Rick, Rick's, that Ponytail has all of the, uh, the codes on a memory stick. And what he's actually been doing this whole time when he's typing is he's writing his fanfic. He's uh, really, really into the X-Files. He's really getting into season four. <laughs> The lone gunman showed up. They were great. And Mulder hung out with his best friends, and they all had beer and nachos. And the nerd guy was super respected by Scully. And Mulder... Oh. <laughs> this is all just like self-insert. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Fanfiction.net. Hmm. You know, actually, I'm gonna use the anesthetic darts, I think. Wait, how many of these do I have? Oh, Are you, though? Uh, yeah. Ow. See? I used one. Ooh. There's another one. I got it. We're good. <laughs> these guys respawn no matter what, so I figure just... Just knock them out for now. Most people just run past them. And I didn't feel like it. It's hard. It's hard. Running is hard. It really is. I like that I've actually memorized the pathing of this and with my notes just enough I'm not having to check my map too often. Oh. Mm. You a giant I chicken. Think that missed. There, there we go. <sighs> oh no, it didn't. Oh no, it just got the other guy. There. You got him right in the, the tail. Yeah, I know. Just noticed that. <laughs> My tail. Hey. Also, you don't want to leave now because I don't know how long that affects them. It made me go sleepy. <laughs> the dinosaur go sleepy, sleep. Sleepy sleep. <laughs> <gasps> Dino Crisis on a boat. Oh, dude! Yes! With Plasiosaur attack at the end? No, because then we can just do, like, find out what actually happened on that ship at the end of the Lost World. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As much as I laugh, I do, I do like the sound of that. Get to it, Capcom. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs on a boaty boat that goes floaty float. Exactly. And then we can finally have the roaring return of Bruce McGivern and Fon Ling. Oh, God. Nobody wants that. <laughs> We're all just going to walk away now, Chris. Okay. Oh, what and dollar, and dollar store version of Leon and Ada. <laughs> I regret to inform you I am not eating dinosaur ancestors. No, Rick, that's nothing to regret. You're you're simply doing your duty as a human being and destroying the competition. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs uh. had their chance. They screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> they blew it by getting hit with a meteor. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least Kirk's running out of places to hide. Look, they could have survived if they had gotten into a rocket like any uh, sane species would. 
I love I love how pointless that scene is. He's running out of places to hide. Bye now. All right. So I love this is one of those journals that's actually messages back and forth. So Vanessa, would you care to join me in doing a little Homestar Strong Bad? All right. Oh, yo. <laughs> is this me first? Uh, you want, uh, go, go ahead and take it first. <laughs> And you can't point it out your mistake in my calculations of the estimated value. The simulation of the stable idol, I mean. It seems that I miscalculated the timing of the energy reaction at its critical point by six nanoseconds. I admitted that I made a mistake, but he had a serious attitude problem. He doesn't seem to understand or all exhausted from having to work all day and night on a regular basis. Written by M, also known as a homestall of Wenu. To M, everyone feels the same way about Kirk as you do. It's time to let them know how we feel. I heard that you could create a lethal poison by mixing certain drugs together. They said you just have to mix the strongest anesthetic with something else. Well, that may be going too far, I suppose. Written to silly by K for totally cool guy. Too strong, but I mean, totally cool guy. You are pathetic. Can you see Dr. Cork devote himself to the experiment without a care of anything else? Blaming others for your mistakes only exemplifies your cowardice. I hold all of you responsible should the experiment go wrong thanks to your wondering. Maybe you should be the one watching your back in case someone should accidentally inject you with poison. Which invite, what was what it? It's not Homestar Warner, so uh, question mark, man. <laughs> the question mark man. The question mark man. <laughs> oh, God, I love that. Oh. All right, whatever. Uh, my One of my favorites is... Uh, Homestar, I didn't, I didn't know you had a beard. Oh, I do. It's cinnamon. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, God, now I got the It's the Sneak song stuck in my head. It's the snake. It's the snake. Who did the Harley Golly on the Panama Canal? It's the snake. It's the snake. Oh, like this sneaky thingy here. Can we just I mean, it kind of... Sorry, go on. <laughs> I'm just saying it was looping back. Let's <laughs> say, can we point out that this is the first and only time Regina swept the room? <laughs> Finally, and, and, and still. Attacked by a different color dinosaur. I think that's a 90s color dinosaur. It's a very 90s color dinosaur. It's like one of those like off-brand toys that you would get where it's like they just kind of they took a mold from somewhere that they had they barely had the rights to. Well, technically we shouldn't have this, but here you, you know, go. but we repainted and it's legally distinct, so who cares? Hearing stuff. Yeah, I think funny I hear dinosaurs. Actually, the funny thing is, today I actually have to explain to somebody the concept of palette swap. Oh my god. Wow. Really? They were quite young. Oh. Still, I thought that was like still a thing. Mm hmm. Well, Mortal Kombat isn't as big as it used to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not as prevalent in Mortal Kombat as it used to be. That's also true. You know, yeah, I'm, but like it doesn't like Sub Zero, Scorpion, and then like five five other dudes all look like the same guy but with different colored outfits. No, because they changed the uh costume a little bit for each. Yeah, they have now. But in oh, the old days. Duh. In in you in Ultimate MK3 though, yeah, it was it was bonkers. Oh, all yeah. right. Back in the days of the sprites, it was um oh, yeah. you basically had one ninja. Well, the three ninjas are basically Guy Ninja, Girl Ninja, Ninja, Cyborg Ninja, and Sir Has Needed. Yeah, for the dudes, it was uh, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Ermac, Rain, 
Chameleon. Smoke. Noob Cybot. Uh, noob Cybot, yep. Reptile, yeah, as Venice yeah, mentioned. Yeah. Um, smoke? Was Smoke a guy? Smoke, yep. He was the gray one. I barely played Mortal Kombat. Why do I know this? <laughs> <laughs> because I used to put a lot of that on my old Tumblr. Maybe. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yum, uh, yum, 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 plus yum, plus. Yum. Uh, Oh, right, right, right. Thank you. I did have a plus plus. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome to the max. All right. Is the dinosaurs one regret having bonitis? <laughs> Oops. The only thing I regret is not finding a cure for my bonitis. <laughs> okay, but like, what if you combined the ninjas and the dinosaurs and had ninja dinosaurs? You'd have reptile. There you go. Which would also be totally rad. Actually, how is your health there, Chris? Uh, you know what? Not that you mentioned you it. Were, you were mauled, like, two times, times by that, like, chicken dinosaur. That doesn't look enough like a chicken. You mean I was, uh, I was mauled several times? Several times. <laughs> That's right, deep, Chris. <laughs> Uh, ah, whoops. Okay. Oh, so, what fresh bullshit. So, uh, what's the code to go to the port? Boaty boat. <laughs> Floaty float? Yes. Water. Well, it's water way wow. to go. Do you, do you know what the biggest bullshit thing of the um, DDK puzzle is? The keyboard is not a keyboard. I hate that. It's alphabetical, not QWERTY. <sighs> I hate it it's so the much. It's bullshit in this game. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> that is? Regina, it looks like this door leads to the port. Well, that in most of the last, like, hour or so. Because <laughs> this is about the point the pacing of the game starts to take a hit for me. Beep, beep. You oh. copy, Mike? Actually, it's not a lizard. It's 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 not. It's more like a bird. Huh? Sounds like we're not the only ones having problems. I'm glad you're amused. It will wow, no Regina, Jesus! Bird, but if that guy gets eaten, I don't care whether he lives or dies. Key from that dinosaur's stomach. That's cold. You've got to save him. You forget that we're killers. Yeah, I suppose. But does it? Ponytail's doesn't... like not me. Yeah, pon ponytail's got a conscience though. Alright, I want to grab that now just He's in case. He's the biggest later. killer of all. <laughs> the killer of... Uh, <laughs> the killer of people's hearts with his wonderful fanfic. Heyo. No, the killer of souls would be of people who have to read that. Hmm. Alright. Anyway, so I guess we're just have to go back this way. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although now I'm just imagining, like, uh... Somebody finds out Rick wrote uh, fan fiction. It's just like, are you the guy who wrote that X Files fanfic? Yes, yes, I am. Punch! <laughs> it, just that, it just turns into that sketch from The Simpsons where Burr keeps answering the door for homework. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, fucker! Are you the guy that did the X-Files fanfic? Mm, maybe? No. I got a sure? package here. Hmm. Then yes, yes I did. Punch. Ah! That's making me wait. <laughs> okay, and let's prepare for one of the most stupid examples. Of what having a small brain does for you. Yeah, I'm hoping Rick is watching right now while eating his food, and hopefully not chewing at the same time. I uh, shall wait to take my next bite. Yeah, I recommend that. 
G. What's coming? Dot. Doo doo. How? Uh, oh. Be Rex. Oh, he pulled I, an alien queen. I ducked underneath. Ow. ow. Oh. <laughs> I, I miscalculated Ladies and, and missed. What? Ladies and what? gentlemen, one of the greatest predatory creatures of all history. Knocked himself just... out like a chump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it, it just miscalculated. <sighs> Turns out, I'm bad at Ooh. math. One last time. <laughs> Look, distance judgment might not be at strong suit. Yeah, the eyes are just so far on the sides, I wonder how bad a step perception is. No, no, no. Um, it, it would have had great depth perception because, like all predators, its eyes are facing forward. Hmm. They sure don't look forward. <laughs> well, Not you know, 90s graphics. <laughs> I don't speak just the electric cues. <laughs> well, yeah, now they're rolled back into its head. <laughs> they just do that, like, uh, bug eye stare like Jack Elam. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, Jack Elam. Oh, Mrs. Science Theater, why? Is, is this the final time? That's the last one. It's the final fuse. Future me, sync that up, please. Thank you. Actually, we have a great deal of respect for Jackie Lab. Yes. Fantastic uh, character mm -hmm. actor. Amazing oh, yeah. character, yep. I, I still love my first time seeing him was actually in one of his most notable, but like way towards the end of his career performances in um, Once Upon a Time of the West, the opening scene. Super good in that. Ah, a port card key. You can only use it on the port side of your boat. Okay. Another, another DDK. Because of fucking course there is. <sighs> and a plug. These all the people that were calling like a few minutes ago? Yeah. Yeah, they're very, very dead. Wow. Well, I can see, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I can see Regina just walking out. Ha, suckers. <laughs> I mean, that was basically your attitude in the cutscene. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive, assholes. You're not. I uh, bet you guys wish you had a shotgun. And, a, and all those tranquilizer darts. And a 40 millimeter your grenade launcher. <laughs> your inside's on the inside <laughs> instead of the outside. Also stylish hair like I have. Mm-hmm. And truly, Regina is the envy of all, including to the point that even even Joe Valentine dressed up as her once. Just the once. I still have the figure of that somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, one of the Moby Dick variants, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it came with a uh, Drain Demos, I think. I think all of the Joe Valentines did, because I definitely had, uh, I had the standard RE3 Joe Valentine. What if Ponytail like completely misses the uh, the card and like it tumbles and like falls into a vent? Oh well, damn it! Well, we're boned. Uh, you want to play cards I until we that. die? I remember that figure. The Jill kind of looks like she's uh, injured. Mm-hmm. What is that? Also, there's no points of articulation. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like not at all. Oh no, it's another. If we really are. We're this in the arc. God, I don't want to. I don't want to go to Neo Arc. I I didn't like that. I was not a fan. I'm not going into Neo Arc. Look, there's only one thing we can do here. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Wow, cool! It's like it's like those uh, machines at Disney World that will like crush your penny and stretch it into like an image. Hmm. Do you get that done for free by like putting them on train tracks? Yeah, but I'm not going to go there with the train trap. So, did, did he just get rid of the lucky coin he had since his parents died? Turns out it wasn't actually that lucky because it act, it just reminded him of the time that his parents died. And specifically had their the, the year that they got married on it. 
What? No, it was the year they died. Was it the year they died? Because remember there was, was the it? No, no, no. It's their anniversary. That's what that's what the code is. And so it's the year. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was the mm -hmm. uh, anniversary year. Mm hmm. It should be the anniversary year. Okay, so. Okay, here we go. Just, just got to be bad at Travis's parents all over again. <laughs> and remember, folks, you can watch us get mad at Travis Grady and his wonderful misadventures in Silent Hill Origins, where a walking Home Depot goes around smacking the crap out of things and following a sexy nurse. For some reason. Yeah, um, I actually just looked it up and the coin is engraved with 61, which is referring to when Richard Grady committed suicide. Weird. Jeez. Wow, Travis is fucking old. Well, it took place in the eighties. Yeah, but I, I, but even still, you know. Well, you don't want to be in his fifties now. Well, let's see. Uh, it probably would have made him like in his forties in. Uh, yeah. In uh, origins. I think so. Yeah. <sighs> Do you, ever, do you think Regina ever uses this uh, grappling hook thing to get out of conversations like Batman? Obviously. I think we said that one before once. <laughs> I mean, if it's I like, could do it, yeah. I would too. Yeah. Let's be honest. If you could do that, you would. So, yep. But Hi. Just like, just like, hey, Regina, Bob's retiring. We're throwing a little bit of money. Regina, you can't grapple your way out of things. Yes, I can. Watch me. Except in this game, she only grapples up ventilation shafts. That's all you need. Oh! Whoa! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I was oh, I, I just remembered the um, tackle runner hit from when we played it years ago. Yeah, I was trying. I was kind of trying to trigger that, but it didn't. Uh, didn't happen this time. Eh. I also realized just, I went the wrong way. Just Sorry. imagine Regina standing there. Click, click. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm bound. Yeah, these these raptors don't have as good a zone defense as the last batch we fought. Defense, ooh, ooh, defense. Hey, hey, future me, can you put up that clip uh, while we uh, get to the next door? Thank you. Uh -oh. Whoa! 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 What the? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Uh, um. Push him back, push him back way back. <laughs> That's used in your head. <laughs> that dinosaur has got good zone defense. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a good that was a good time. Alright, this room. Security pass room. This is the one that I distinctly remember we started talking about Rugger Hauer and then mentioning loved him in the Super Mario Brothers movie. We were like, wait a minute. Ah. Uh, a wooga. Why? But why a wooga? It's the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, it was Dennis Dennis Hoppe. Yeah, I know, but I mean, just in a general sense. It feels like it kind of feels. It does feel like that would be the kind of film Rutger Hauer would have found himself in in the nineties. It, it does. Yes. So. yes. Yeah, like Doom Generation, that kind of stuff. As he moves the generators outside today. We are going to move the experimental generator outside today. We expect to see external staff within the test area. As a final reminder, if the overload occurs within the laboratory, it will mean the obliteration of the entire facility. Don't want to be evaporated. Guard the area with extreme caution. The staff has been working double overtime recently. Dr. Kirk in particular has locked himself in his private quarters for nearly a week. Nobody has seen him. Take good care of the researchers and remember that today's experiment success. Da, 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 da. You can keep your eyes open. Just a bunch of like, yeah, hey, uh, if you could, if you could like not let us die or whatever, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, throat. but it said it's it said to only like check it out today. So one day only, 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 only. <laughs> so one day, one day, one day. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Die, die, die. Ah, oh, God. Wait. God, I wish I could just use the bullets on this stupid thing. There's another one. And thus, and thus you've come over to my line of thinking. You get a fire axe and your problem is solved. But then oh. you also have the problem of like, where do you get the fire axe first? 
Well, wherever you get fire axes normally, you know, like next to a fire extinguisher. Okay, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can not fuck this up. Okay. Uh... Bloop. Mm, I think Bloop. I... I think I think I... Yeah, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you uh, got it. Almost, almost. One more. One more. Bingo. Whew. Is that his name, Al? No, his name is Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and Bullshit was its name, Oh. Okay, so here's here's the kicker here, all right? So right after we do that, guess what we got to do now? We gotta do another DDK. S Saturday, baby, Neil get Ziffer. So, Rick, Vanessa, I'll perfectly understand if you guys want to run away now. T U R D A Y, baby. Also, night. Night Rider. So, that all is for stabilizer. Wow. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? I, ho I, ho I hope this isn't ruining your meal, Rick. I'm so sorry. Huh? Oh, I just uh, got back uh, from taking care of it, so I'm good. I okay. missed the entire conversation. <laughs> oh, you Congratulations, lucky. you missed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there will be a quiz about it at the end. Oh, no. Sterilization for eggies. Oh. You know, I don't think she she's gonna be having any kids after being bowled by as many dinosaurs as she's been. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a good point. Plus, also, a lot of radiation. This place is too Neo Arc for me. Yeah, it's getting it's getting there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um. So it might have repopped. We'll find. We'll find out momentarily. Okay, so I think I gotta go to stable design. Let me just double check. Oh right, this shit. It's so encouraging. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, this shit. Yeah, not we're we're almost there. We're almost there. There it's 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 coming. Actually no, it actually is gonna be a bit because we haven't found Dr. Kirk again yet. Leave him to die. Okay, then at some point I'm gonna go quiet so I can finish my dinner. <laughs> that might be might be a good idea. I'm so sorry. So we're we're all just gonna office stare at Rick for uh, not Rick, Chris for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, but what if you combine the office with Dino Crisis? I don't think there would be a, any much real difference there. I mean... Not really. Jim would be a lot more interesting. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, it replaced Jim with a raptor. <laughs> uh. Wait, what am I... Oh, that's right, because that's for the DDK that I need to get. Which then I then take back with me to where? Well, oh, okay, sorry. At least, at least you don't have to walk some nitroglycerin to a generator or something. Truthfully, I, I okay. This is the thing. I do I enjoy this game? Yes. Would I be preferably playing the Resident Evil remake right now? Also, yes. Um, part of it also is just that I, I already ran this yesterday to prep for uh, this uh, session today. So, oh, God. So suddenly they decided to remix this, by the way. This is all a new version of the cipher and the code. Wow. That's just like naming your password password. Mm-hmm. You you don't do that? 
No. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, future sure. me, do you want to do you want to bleep that out? Oh, oh no! Future me forgot to bleep it out. F future me fell asleep. Oh no! Not future you. Future you is not well rested. Probably, probably won't be given all that I have to do the rest of this month. Oof. It's. It, I mean, it's one of those. It's going to be fun, but it's also going to be a lot. Yeah. I get to watch Interzone a bunch. Oh. <laughs> have you seen? Have you, have you seen Interzone? I think I have. That's the one with Bruce Abbott, uh, and it's got Pan Panasonic and General Electric as monks. It does sound vaguely familiar. Oh man, it's a wild, wild one. Rick, oh, I've beep, located beep. the main generator of the third energy. Uh, Ponytail, I think I may have found myself in Metal Gear Solid. I think a Metal Gear Rex is coming. I need a... Oh, shit. I need a cardboard box. Hold on a second. It, wow, a, now you really need a cardboard box. Rex here. Yeah, you, you do have a Rex here. I, I, I okay. do, um, but also uh, taking my cans off for a second because I need to go get my uh, controller cable because it just ran out of juice. I mean, I kind of saw that coming. Just stall for time! Stall for time! Technical difficulties! We, we, That's all right. he, he we was saw it coming. Sorry, what were you saying? I said he he was warned that yeah. the battery was low. <clears throat> like over an hour ago. He's been warned. So, you know, he's got nobody to blame but himself. And Liquid Snake. God damn it. There we go. Did you ever see that video where, like, someone did, like, an almost spot on impersonation of Solid and Liquid? And, like, it was about that, like, Bugs Bunny <laughs> Chungus? <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. <laughs> I, I, have, I have seen it, and it's spot on, and like, it's just, it, it looks like it would fit perfectly in the game. Which is the, it is a trip. I bet it is. Oh, hey, Survivor. Hmm. No, he's not. Uh, She is unconscious. No, she's, she's not. She, she's, she, well, she is nine, so there is that. It's okay, Vanessa. You know, it was, it was the '90s. You know, nobody could tell any gender anybody was. Yeah, gender's a construct. <laughs> Kirk, uh, Kirk has been hiding everything from the researchers recently. In a demonstration of solidarity, the B1 Lab area staff have decided to investigate what Kirk and the military personnel are up to. As a start, we managed to set a wiretapping device at the parts storage area where they've been holding meetings. The device is sound activated and records automatically. You can also play back the recordings. Maybe the best way to come up with some clues. We need Kirk's ID card to check the generator. We already know his registration number is 31415. All we need now is the Fortis ID card is uh, data on this fucking thing. Uh, underneath, it, it's written, oh, this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thankfully, when you have the solution, this is actually really fast. Again with this thing? Mm-hmm. Look, these are all puzzles that they couldn't use in Resident Evil, and they were told you can't make any more. That's right. Made me happy they weren't. Uh, I forget. I need to make sure to pick up this. Okay, nothing to combine it with. That's fine. I'm oh. just wondering, do you have enough grenade rounds? <laughs> God, no. I don't know what happened if you mixed all those recovery aids. Um, we'll find out in a second. <laughs> we'll find out right after this. Oh, grab the intensifier. Oh, yeah. For your interocitor? <laughs> I was just gonna make a joke about that. <laughs> Are you in Europe? Do you need an adapter? No. I don't know. Maybe this does something. <laughs> Crap. Well, be sure to tell Exeter you guys called. 
I like who doesn't have an interocitor. Collective heads of knuckle. <laughs> God, it's been so long since I've seen that one because it's it's difficult not, to yeah, yeah. It's find hard to find it on streaming. Yeah. I used to have it on VHS. Also, kids, VHS was the thing before DVDs. Mm. And DVDs was, were the thing uh, before Blu-rays. Mm -hmm. Which and Blu were the thing before DVD streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and before uh, VHS, there was... Betamax? Yeah. yeah. And Laserdisc. Oh, God. And before God. that, you actually had to go to the cinema to see a film. Mm -hmm. Which was actually printed on as a physical object that you could then unspool and look at in the light and see the pictures. Couldn't hear the sounds, though. Slides? Yeah, it's not a very efficient way of watching a movie. What we're trying to say here, folks, is that the four of us combined have an age of over 130. <laughs> Good lord. I just love it weaving back and forth like that. <laughs> look at our generator. Look at it. <laughs> Say, look at it. It's dancing. It's dance. It's like a you're the man now, dog Jeff. Oh, whoa. Wow. Gina's pissed. I can make. He's like, come on, guys. I can make a dance. Watch, 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 watch me. Watch me make a dance. It, it, it's kind of like late, mid to late 90s websites yeah with, <laughs> oh, anyway God. with the so, random gifts homer's mr x website Th oh, that took God. Like three hours to load <laughs> yes and hey, uh did... that hopefully hopefully you will join us after we load up the next episode because uh we just heard a gunshot and in, in the next room and so we need to see if that lady is okay i thought it was kenneth or maybe it was somebody who really wanted out of this movie This was a movie. <laughs> I, I ended up accidentally to like my brain memory decided, hey, let's recall this thing from the Resident Evil Apocalypse riff tracks that we never released and never finished. Oh, uh, God. Okay, I'm cutting. A reference zero people won't get. 